I used to think that a cardiac arrest could never happen to me, but I was wrong. In July of 2016, while at church, I had a 100% blockage in one of my arteries that caused a heart attack resulting in cardiac arrest. I passed out in the choir room, and the next thing I knew, I woke up in the hospital the next day. Without the immediate hands-only CPR that I received from bystanders, I would not be sitting here today talking to you. At the Anthem Foundation, we believe that targeting specific, preventable health concerns will help us create a healthier generation of Americans. One of our main areas of focus is heart health. So when we were looking to partner with an organization on corporate social responsibility, we looked to the leader in heart health and education, the American Heart Association. The American Heart Association works to improve the health of families and make our communities healthier. Over the past six years, the Anthem Foundation has committed $12.4 million in grants to the American Heart Association. These grants are helping to provide greater access to the life-saving skill of hands-only CPR. Through our various initiatives, we have trained over 10 million people in hands-only CPR, which means our work with the American Heart Association has resulted in an additional 10 million lifesavers in our communities. The key to emergency response is preparation, and I see a good deal of emergencies as the battalion chief and the EMS coordinator for the Indianapolis International Airport Fire Department. When the American Heart Association approached me about placing a hands-only CPR kiosk in the airport, I immediately thought it was a good idea. A cardiac arrest can happen anywhere at any time, and since immediate bystander CPR can double or even triple a person's chance of survival, it's crucial that as many people as possible receive hands-only CPR training. Travelers have a lot of downtime and are often looking for ways to productively use their time. Hands-only CPR kiosks are a quick and easy way to learn the life-saving skill of hands-only CPR. Anyone can use the touchscreen kiosk to watch a short video demonstrating how to perform hands-only CPR and then take a 30-second CPR test to assess his or her skills. It takes about five minutes and it can save the life of a stranger or even a loved one. I had no symptoms or indication that there was an issue with my heart before my cardiac arrest. In fact, there was nothing unusual at all about that morning. I woke up and drove to church just like I do every Saturday morning. When I suddenly collapsed, my two good friends, Doug and Jack, came to my rescue. They were not afraid to act when I needed it most and made sure someone had phoned 911 and then pushed hard and fast in the center of my chest until help arrived. Jack received CPR training in the military while Doug followed the instructions of the 911 operator. But they were by no means experts. They were just good friends who had a willingness to help their friend. I am so thankful they did act. But due to their quick actions, I had a second chance at life, and I got to spend more time with my beautiful wife, Dee, our children, and grandchildren. Unfortunately, this is not a rare occurrence. More than 350,000 out-of-hospital cardiac arrests happen every year. About 90% of these people die, often because bystanders don't know how to perform CPR or are afraid of doing it incorrectly. These statistics are alarming, so one way we are helping to reverse these trends is by supporting CPR training in our communities, like the kiosk at the Indianapolis International Airport. The Anthem Foundation is proud to support the American Heart Association's nationwide effort to increase bystander CPR and save lives. Imagine if the American Heart Association had sponsors for hands-only CPR kiosks in every major metropolitan market. Think of how many lifesavers we could add to our communities. Collaboration between the American Heart Association, the Anthem Foundation, and the Indianapolis International Airport is inspiring the community to save lives. For every hands-only CPR kiosk placed, the goal is to train 10,000 lifesavers per year. With each additional sponsor and host site, we come closer and closer to the AHA's goal of making sure no one dies from cardiac arrest. Join the AHA's chain of survival by sponsoring CPR training in your community.